Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to this channel, Monica Jaga. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Monica and I propose videos on family, lifestyle and beauty. Today I'm giving you a video and this video is very much recommended by everyone here. So about OPEA. OPEA program and what is OPEA? I have a lot of DMs uh, from you guys and requesting a lot of questions, asking me a lot of questions. So today I'm gonna put them all together on this video so that it can be easy for me to answer all your question on in once, uh, one, once and then I post it to you so that you can all look at it and uh, get all your question and all your answers that you need. And if you have any other questions, don't forget and don't hesitate to ask me. I'm gonna be happy to help you yeah because i have gone through this program i have uh helped a lot of girls to come through this program and even you guys even you out there if you're under 30 you can come as an au pair in france or in uh, europe to uh get uh this program yeah so let's get into it before i start talking too much yeah so thank you very much make sure that you give me a thumbs up on this video feel free to subscribe if you haven't subscribed welcome to the family this is sharing and caring and that's why i'm sharing this video so thank you very much let's go into it let's talk about four do you need any diplomas i can say yes because you need your kcse um, certificate to come to france yeah you need that because you're gonna prove that you have done your uh, your studies until the, that level make sure that you're good you're good if you're you're still in form four or in form three and you really start, want to learn to come to france or to european countries and au pair make sure you work hard it's also good to prove that you can be good in all the other subjects yeah so yeah you need a diploma you need your kcsc you need a little bit certificate that if you have attended a, a, a lesson a language lessons in a, in your country you need that too for your visas yeah number five how to get a host family yeah this is a very good question because uh where to get how host family nowadays is very easy they have a lot of, you have a lot of sites out there uh, you know inter on internet online sites that you can get host family on M on my days those days old days we used to have uh physical agencies whereby we could drop our uh all the, the requirements or the all the documents that they're required to get a visa uh and to get a host family but now you have a lot of site number one like this down you have opiaworld.com you also have you also have opia.com just just like that opia.com you also have all the uh groups in facebook you can have opia groups in italy opia groups in europe opia groups in france opia groups in paris anywhere it's very easy go on that uh check get get your research but if you uh if you want three only three of these sites opiaworld.com opia.com and oh, the group in you in um in facebook opia paris in a group in facebook or opia in europe okay that's check that on on facebook you can get all those groups there and yeah keep searching keep uh you know uh networking keep networking over there and then you're gonna get a host family yeah in the opiaworld.com you need to get uh to to register with them and then you're gonna get uh to search the host family yeah so that's number uh five number six what is the work of an opia yes this have to be very clear guys it's like botch if you're in kenya you can understand botch <laughs> but only for the kids uh when you're coming as an opia with an opia program you're supposed to work five hours uh with the with the kids okay in the morning you wake them up you feed them and you prepare them to, for school you drop them to school and then when you come back you go to, to to attend your classes yeah because you have to learn the classes on the program you are supposed to learn your lessons yeah 
your classes your, if it's, you're in france french lessons if you're in italy italian lessons if you're in spain spanish lessons and all and on and on okay so yeah so you need uh so that was the question that was how to uh what is the work of opia so that's the morning uh the morning uh schedule in the afternoon you have to pick the kids after school you have uh, uh, normally in france it's uh, 4 30 you pick them from school and you come home with them stay with them until the parents are home so make sure they are you make sure that you give some activity you do some activities with them and you you have you, you some uh families can ask you to cook for the for the kids wash them prepare them for for dinner and to bed yeah so that's the work of an opia yeah yeah, make sure that you you are creative make sure that you are willing you loving uh, you love kids and you are mature enough to take care of the kids because that's a big responsibility the the, uh, the host family is uh, giving you uh, their most precious things that they have their kids so make sure that you are mature enough to take care of them to be good with them to be loving and to be caring okay yeah because that's gonna help you even uh to uh to to learn your language if you if you like kids and you have been playing with them they're gonna help you and they're gonna teach you some uh lessons yeah so yeah that's number six and number seven visa processing visa processing uh take place in your in your country the country where you are you go to the french embassy in your kenya in kenya or the french embassy in any country that you are in and that's where you're gonna get your visa processed and to process this visa you need to have already got a host family and the host family gonna uh, post you they're gonna send you all the document all the necessary documents that you need to go and process your visa number one you need a contract you also need an insurance you also need um inscription to a lessons to french lessons and yeah that's what gonna help you uh, get your visa uh, back in which country the country that you are in okay and number eight arriving to france or to other countries when you're arriving some uh some family propose to pay for your flight and then they're gonna uh you're gonna uh, give them back the money with the pocket money that you're gonna get from them and yeah some family do that and some family want you to pay for your flight and then yeah you are good to come and start with them without any debts <laughs> i think also that it's also good because you don't have any debt to anyone if you're not good with the family you can just uh search another family and move on but if the family have paid for you 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 feel that you need to repay the, the debt so you have to stick with them even if, even if you're not growing together you're if, even if you're not uh, that um grooving together with the family yeah so that's the thing when you're arriving to france they're supposed to come and pick you from the airport or send a, uh send someone or give you some direction yeah the the things that you're mature enough that you can navigate from uh, one point to another so sometimes they let you come direct to their house uh with the cab you can take a cab that's why the, the reason why i was telling you to learn a little bit of uh, french if you're coming to france or another language if you're going to another country it's like you you're gonna need some uh, help if you ha want to ask some help yeah just learn that from uh, the, the lessons that you're learning back home yeah so number nine learning french language yes this is very important and that's why they gave you that visa yeah because you are coming to france to learn french language and to learn the french culture so yeah interact with french people don't be afraid don't cross yourself with only kenyan's friends go out there and explore when you go to the country that you are in you explore you came here to learn french to learn culture learn a, a lot of things that you're supposed to learn yeah so it's very important to attend classes you can attend them online or a physical school and this some uh, host family can offer you to pay for your school fees is the school fees yeah or you pay the school fees for yourself they give you the pocket money the money that they give uh, is allowed uh, 320 to uh, to 400 or 500 euros so that's your, gonna be your pocket money they don't call it salary they call it pocket money they give you a uh, pocket money the host family is supposed to uh give you food and give you somewhere to, to sleep maybe a room for yourself 
all a studio flat for yourself to, to feel comfortable that's the whole family have to provide this to you so your your your, your pocket money is only to pay for your school fees all yeah and your expenses the expenses that you need if you need to go out if you need to you know to explore the country that you are in yeah that's the money that you're gonna use if you want to to send back the money to your mom or to your parents back home that's the money that you're gonna use and make sure that you save some coins on there because it's gonna help you in future yeah so number nine that we learned learning about french is very important so make sure that you be serious in it and if you want to stick in that country for longer you you are supposed to learn french if you, it's french if, if another country you're supposed to learn the language in that country if german you have to learn the, the german language if it's italy you have to learn italian language yeah so make sure that you be uh, uh, um what do you call it be uh be sharp and know what you want after that okay number 10 what do you do after au pair program yeah this is a very good question and and many people are asking even many people many au pairs in, in in here in france are asking what do you do after au pair program number one what you can do after au pair program you remember au pair program is maximum two years after that you can uh you can get a school whereby you're gonna you're gonna uh, translate your visa from opera visa to student visa yeah so make sure that you get a school you get a university and yeah enroll with them enroll with that school and then they're gonna give you some uh, documents to to go to the uh to ask for your visa for an, another the status you to change the status from opera to student after that you also have you can also have get get a job uh most uh hotels and most restaurant hotels and all this need some uh someone who's speaking english so yeah you can get a job like a receptionist or uh, a barmaid or you can also do um uh, service in the restaurant and this uh these services can help you uh, also get a visa a working visa your employer gonna give you all the documents that you need to change your visa from au pair to working visa. Huh? Another option, you can also get married over there <laughs> and get another visa that's called family visa. So yeah, you have a lot of things after you do an au pair, yeah? Or otherwise, if you want to go to another country, it's also a good uh, things to do. And uh, make sure that you prepare your after au pair when you just arrived, yeah? When you arrive, you just stay uh, one, one month or two get uh from uh to from uh to formulize with the family and all this and just start thinking about after au pair program because times goes very quickly and you won't see that two years passing yeah so make sure that you are sharp enough to know what you do after your au pair program yeah another thing i can advise you guys if you're back home if you're back in kenya or another country make sure that you learn a drive driving and come with a driving license that's a, a good tip to give you guys because it's gonna help you here yeah and when you finish your opia program you can also uh change it from uh from uh kenyan passport to you know international passport to french passport yeah the first year you can change it and it's gonna be uh less expensive than starting to learn driving in here yeah so that's another tip that you need to note on your notes guys <laughs> and also what else can i tell you about au pair make sure that you are mature enough make sure that you are you are what do you call it that mature you are res responsible for yourself because if you come here you know the host family thinks that you are mature yeah and you you are there to to take care of their kids make sure that you 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 research about au pair what to do with the kids some activities to do with the kids because that a plus that if you give those kids some activities and they like you you're gonna you know you're gonna stay longer with that family yeah and that's gonna save you some 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 problems of searching some more uh, more families so make sure that uh you are sharp enough to uh and mature enough because sometimes it's hard i won't tell you it's easy you can come you can chat with the family and you like each other and they give you all the papers and then you come this another different story yeah so make sure that you yeah you do your 
when you're talking to the family make sure that you get to know who they are or how their characters and you try to adapt yourself on those yeah and make sure that you 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 are you are flexible yeah you are flexible some uh, families can ask you to babysit uh, once or twice a month uh for extra money or yeah and remember on wednesdays there's no schools here in france if you want to to get a host family in france in when wednesdays you are supposed to take to stay with the kids the whole day so if you are attending classes you're gonna go monday tuesday thursday and friday yeah no schools on wednesdays so you're gonna have to stay the whole day with the kids so you have to maybe take them to their activities extra curriculum activities that they do and yeah if you have a driving license it's gonna be a plus and yeah be keen to drive to to know how to drive too yeah because some of us are back home you just go to the to learn a driving license you just get a driving license but you don't know how even how to drive yeah when you come here you can you're gonna uh perfection yourself in driving and that's gonna help you because sometimes you're gonna get a family for, uh, on up country uh far away from the city and you can you don't have some buses and all this so yeah you're gonna need to drive so the that's a plus yeah to have a drive a driving license and to know how to drive is a plus so yeah what else can i tell you about au pair uh yes that's this uh yeah big big loving yeah love uh know that if you have that love of kids that's gonna help you yeah that's gonna help you make sure that when you're posting uh, on the au pair world make sure that you put some photos of you taking care of kids that's gonna prove that they're gonna prove that you, you have been taking care of kids yeah you can do some volunteers in uh um uh in some uh, uh crash you no know, crash or baby care school so that you can have some photos if you don't have uh, nieces you don't have your small brothers and sisters you can also do that volunteer to know how to care about kids yeah because when you're alive in france everything is different you're gonna see the kids here are different not like home here you can't beat the kids yeah you if you have any problem with with the, the children you have to approach their parents and tell them what's 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 happening with the kids if they're not listening to you sometimes kids you can tell them to go to bath or they time to eat or they don't listen to you you don't have to beat them yeah you don't have to pinch them you don't have to you know to slap them or not nothing yeah you have to uh just uh talk to the parents about their their character or they don't or what they're not doing when they're asking them to do so that you can be on the safe side yeah so these are the few points these are, these are the few questions if you have other questions guys feel free to leave them under this video if you need uh me to help you just uh dm me on my instagram i'm gonna leave my holder hold here instagram hold here so that you can connect me there dm me there and then i'm gonna answer you and if you have any question i'll be happy to answer you i'll be happy to help you because i know this is a sharing and caring care caring channel and i'm here and i'm your sister in prosperity and impossibility i know it's possible so i i did it why not you so make sure that you yeah just work hard get some research uh, get those deep uh, certificate that you need and yeah work hard on getting the family yeah you can post every every day you can post 30 to 50 uh announcement on those uh groups facebook uh, opia facebook groups so that you can uh accelerate your chances to get a host family yeah so thank you very much everyone and feel free to subscribe if you haven't subscribed i really appreciate that share out these videos with all your friends who are willing to come as opias and even those who have friends that they want to come as opias share out this video with them i really appreciate and i'm gonna see you in the next one bye